This is a special report from About Space Today. Welcome, I'm David Denall. The second attempt to launch the Starliner Orbital Flight Test 2 has been scrubbed for today. The launch crews have begun draining the fuel tanks on the Atlas V rocket at Launch Complex 41 on Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Standing by at the Cape is our Space Coast news editor and host of America in Space, Don Meyer. Yes, David, the Boeing Starliner launch attempt for August 3rd has the Boeing Starliner launch attempt for August 3rd has been postponed. During the pre-launch preparation for the uncrewed test flight of the CST-100 Starliner spacecraft, Boeing engineers monitoring the health and status of the vehicle detected what they termed unexpected valve position indications in the propulsion system. The issue was initially detected during the checkouts following an electrical storm at the Kennedy Space Center the previous day. This has resulted in the postponement of the launch of the Starliner spacecraft to the International Space Station atop the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. John Vollmer, the Vice President and Program Manager for Boeing's Commercial Crew Program, said after the launch scrub announcement, We're disappointed with today's outcome and the need to reschedule our Starliner launch. Human spaceflight is a complex, precise, and unforgiving endeavor, and Boeing and NASA teams will take the time they need to ensure the safety and integrity of the spacecraft and the achievement of our mission objectives. Boeing and NASA teams assess the situation and have announced the next launch attempt will be tomorrow. This is Boeing's second orbital flight test of Starliner, designated OFT-2. The OFT-1 mission failed to attain the proper orbit during its flight in December of 2019. Now, as an aside, although this is termed as an uncrewed mission, there is one, quote, crew member, unquote, aboard. Rosie the Rocketeer is the anthropometric test device making her second flight, having been the passenger for OFT-1 as well. Her mission is to collect valuable data during the mission via her 15 sensors that will read how she responds to G-forces during launch, ascent, re-entry, and landing. This will help make future crewed missions safe on Starliner. Rosie will be sitting in the commander's seat and will be flying the mission solo. Now, Rosie was initially named for Rosie the Riveter, a cultural icon dating back to World War II. Rosie the Riveter was a cartoon female factory worker shown flexing her bicep in a famous poster urging women to join the war effort, saying, we can do it. Rosie is a symbol not only of the women who are blazing a trail in human spaceflight history, but also of everyone who has shown grit and determination while working tirelessly to ensure Starliner can transport astronauts safely to and from the International Space Station, said Leanne Carrot, the CEO and President of Boeing Defense, Space and Security. She is flying for everyone on our team who took the challenge of human spaceflight and said, we can do it. Now, will they be able to do it? Will they be able to launch on their next attempt? I hope so. I guess we'll see tomorrow. From the Kennedy Space Center on Florida's Space Coast, this is Dawn Meyer for About Space Today. And so the earliest attempt for the launch will be tomorrow at 1257 Eastern Time. And continue to follow the developments on the launch at our Facebook page, AboutSpace.Today. I'm David Denault. This has been a special report from about space today.